Hey, I'm Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician at Jefferson Electric. We're here in downtown Indianapolis, punching out this house. Real, man, unfortunate situation. Um, so we're picking up the pieces for another party and carrying this project across the finish line. I've got James Harbert here to do the electrical punch. We're gonna work through the entire house. We're gonna double check it, triple check it, test it, top to bottom, all four finished floors, and sign off by end of day tomorrow because they've got to clean this house and list it, get it on the market. It's nothing but a cash flow burden to them right now. James, our responsibility is this, total punch of the entire house, just the electrical. Punch list is on the counter. Um, this has not been a smooth project. We have got to punch out every single item. Don't rely on anything that anyone has done behind you. You are the man responsible to carry this project across the finish line. Good. All right, let's rock. I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to explain a few code requirements. One for the exterior of the home, front and back, and then the foyer as well. Follow me. Let's go, James. All right, so what are code requirements for the exterior of a home? It's simply and basically this. One 120 volt GFCI protected receptacle on the front of the home and on the back of the home. And at each point, of interior egress and ingress to the home. So every entry at grade level requires a receptacle outlet, a lighting control, and a lighting outlet. The lighting outlet and the lighting control may be automatic means. In this case, we have an in-use cover with a GFCI receptacle installed. Our switch is immediately inside the door, which tends to be the optimal location for the exterior light and we have a carriage light on my right. In addition to this, the maximum height for this receptacle is six and a half feet above grade. It is not required that this receptacle be located at the front door, but there is a maximum height for the receptacle. The HVAC unit, typically, obviously, somewhere on the exterior of the home, there's gonna be an air conditioning unit. That air conditioning unit, being serviceable HVAC equipment, must have at least one receptacle located within 25 feet and that receptacle cannot be powered from the load side of the disconnect for that equipment. So what does that mean? The HVAC equipment must have a disconnect switch and means of disconnecting power to the equipment for safe servicing within sight that is less than 50 feet and within direct line of sight and it must have a receptacle to power tooling to service that equipment that's within 25 feet and below six and a half feet above grade. Those are the code requirements. Front and back, each point of entry and egress, HVAC equipment, six and a half foot max,